Hey there, this is Akshay Nandan. Welcome back to a new video, and I hope that you are enjoying this complete Dart beginner-friendly playlist. We have already uploaded. I have already uploaded 20 videos in this playlist, and more videos are coming for sure. Right. So without wasting more time, let's get to our Dart pad. Let me create a new Dart pad, and in this video, we are learning method overriding. Right. And for that learning, we I need to write one example related to inheritance. I'm not going to use the previous code because if people are new, then they might get confused, right? I'm going to code from the scratch. So you can fast forward if you already watched the previous video. I'm going to use that same electronics example, right? I'm going to create a void main function, right? I'm going to create a class electronics, right? And in this class, I'm going to have certain properties, double. Height by default, I'm going to have a 34 double width 67 by default and double thickness of this electronics item, right? So thickness, let's say 78 by default, right? Now every electronics has a property of watching. You you already you watch electronics item, right? Uh, it can be TV, it can be a mobile phone, and it can be a, a iPad, it can be a watch, right? So you have to, you are watching, you can watch that electronic side now, right? So I can have a watch function, right? And you can say in this function that print electronics item is getting watched, right? So electronics item is being watched. Perfect. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just, I'm just going to format it and I'm going to create a child class of this electronics class. So electronics class is going to be my parent class and I'm going to create a class mobile phone which is going to extend my electronics class and this is going to be my child class. Perfect, this is my parent class. Now in this mobile phone class, I am definitely going to have certain move functions. Let's say on mobile phone, you can definitely play games. So void play games. And you can print playing games on mobile phone. Perfect, if I just format it, and in this main function, if I create an object of this mobile phone class is equal to mobile phone. And I want to run this uh, watch function, right? I want to see what is getting watched, right? So I'm going to say mobile phone dot watch. Perfect. Watch. And if I just run it, you are going to see electronics item is getting watched. Let me make it M. Electronics item is being watched. Even if I have created a mobile phone, I'm not getting the information that, hey, mobile phone is getting watched. I'm not getting it. But I cannot write mobile phone is getting watched over here because it can be for any electronics item, right? So what I want to do is I want to be I want this function to be specific for my mobile phone. So one way is I can define the same function, I can define the same function for my mobile phone class also. Is there going to be any clash? Because before this we have not done the same thing. We have not defined the same properties in the child class and in the parent class. What happens if I do it? Let's see. If I do the same function, if I write the same function over here and just make it mobile phone, while phone is being watched, what is going to happen? If I just run it, it is going to give more preference to my child class. It is not giving preference to my parent class if the same property or the same function is there in the child class also, right? You can see I'm calling mobile phone dot watch. It is going, it is coming over here. It is not going to my parent class, right? So if your, so the result is if your child class and the parent class have the same property or the same function, it is going to listen to your, your to your mobile phone or your child class, not your parent class. But 
I also want to print the result of this watch class. Uh, sorry, this electronics class watch function. I want to print the result of both the functions, this watch also and this watch also. But I want it to be after my mobile phone class, after my mobile phone watch function. So what I can do is I can use the same keyword which we learned in the previous video that is super. If you use super, super means your super class. So what I can do is after calling this function, after printing the result of this uh, watch function, I can say super dot watch. Then you see what's the result. You can just run it. And you will see first the result of mobile phone is getting printed. Mobile phone is being watched. Then electronics item is being watched. So like this, you can set your preference. Do you want to print the result of your electronics uh, class function? Or you want to see uh, print the result of your uh, child class function first? So in general, what I'm doing, I'm overriding the function. This was my watch function but I defined my own watch function for my mobile phone class. That means I have overridden my parent class function. Let's say your parent, uh, let's say your mother is a uh, left hand, right? But you are a right hand, right? You prefer writing with your right hand. So in this case, you have overridden a property of your mother, overridden the property of your parent. This is a simple analogy I'm giving, right? So. Here also we have overridden the function of my parent class. I hope I'm clear. This was it. This is called method overriding. When you override a function which was previously written just to perform some other task. Right here we, I, here I wanted to print mobile phone is being watched instead of electronics item is being watched. That's why I have overridden my watch function. I hope I was clear. This was it. This is it. And till next class, keep coding, keep innovating and thanks a lot.